Bernard Arnault is a French businessman and art collector who is the chairman and CEO of LVMH Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton SE, commonly known as LVMH, a multinational luxury goods conglomerate. Arnault was born on March 5, 1949, in Roubaix, France. He attended the École Polytechnique in Paris and then joined his father's civil engineering company. In the early 1980s, Arnault persuaded his father to liquidate the company's assets and invest in real estate. Arnault's entry into the luxury goods industry came in 1984 when he acquired the struggling fashion house of Christian Dior. He turned the brand around and made it profitable again. In 1987, he founded LVMH through a merger of Moet Hennessy and Louis Vuitton. The company has since grown into the world's largest luxury goods conglomerate, with over 70 brands including Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Givenchy, and Bulgari. Arnaud's success has been attributed to his shrewd business acumen, his willingness to take risks, and his focus on quality and innovation. He has also been known for his aggressive acquisition strategy, which has helped LVMH expand its reach into new markets and product categories. According to Forbes, as of 2023, Bernard Arnault has a net worth of $211 billion, making him the richest person in the world, behind only Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Arnault's wealth has been largely derived from his stake in LVMH, which is valued at over $300 billion. He has also been an active art collector and has invested heavily in the art world, including the creation of the Louis Vuitton Foundation for Contemporary Art in Paris. Despite his immense wealth, Arnaud has been known for his philanthropy and has donated millions of dollars to various causes, including education, healthcare, and the arts. Arnaud has also been recognized for his contributions to the business world and has received numerous awards and honors. In 2012, he was awarded the Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor, the highest French order of merit, for his contributions to the country's economy and the arts. In addition to his work with LVMH, Arnaud has also been involved in other business ventures. He has invested in companies such as Netflix, Airbnb, and Carrefour, and has served on the boards of several major corporations. Arnaud's leadership style has been described as focused, detail-oriented, and decisive. He is known for his hands-on approach to management and has been involved in every aspect of LVMH's operations, from design and production to marketing and sales. Despite his immense success, Arnaud has faced criticism over the years. Some have accused him of being too aggressive in his business dealings and of putting profits over people. Others have criticized him for his extravagant lifestyle and his ownership of luxury brands that cater to the wealthy elite. Despite these criticisms, Arno's impact on the luxury goods industry and the broader business world cannot be denied. His visionary leadership and dedication to quality and innovation have helped LVMH become one of the most successful and respected companies in the world and his wealth and influence have made him a major player in global business and philanthropy. One of Arnaud's most notable achievements has been his focus on sustainability and environmentalism in recent years. In 2019, LVMH pledged to become carbon neutral across its entire value chain by 2050, and has since made significant strides in reducing its carbon footprint. The company has also invested in sustainable production methods, including the use of organic cotton and recycled materials. Arno has also been an active philanthropist, supporting a wide range of causes through his personal foundation, the Foundation Louis Vuitton. The foundation has supported initiatives in education, art, and culture, and has donated millions of dollars to organizations around the world. In addition to his philanthropy and sustainability efforts, Arno has also been a major figure in the cultural and artistic communities. He has been a patron of the arts for many years and has made significant contributions to the world of contemporary art. In 2014, he opened the Louis Vuitton Foundation for Contemporary Art, a museum in Paris that showcases contemporary art from around the world. Based on his career and achievements, here are five main reasons for Bernard Arnault's success. Visionary leadership. Arnault's ability to see the potential in struggling brands and turn them into profitable ventures has been a key factor in his success. His acquisition strategy, coupled with his focus on quality and innovation, has helped him build one of the world's largest luxury goods conglomerates. Risk-taking. Arno is known for his willingness to take risks and pursue new opportunities, even when they seem risky or unconventional. His ability to identify promising business opportunities and take calculated risks has paid off over the years. Hands-on approach. Arno is involved in every aspect of LVMH's operations 
from design and production to marketing and sales. His attention to detail and hands-on approach to management have helped him maintain a strong grip on the company's direction and ensure its success. Aggressive Acquisition Strategy Arno's aggressive acquisition strategy has helped him expand LVMH's reach into new markets and product categories. His ability to identify undervalued brands and turn them into profitable ventures has helped him build a diverse and successful portfolio of luxury brands. Philanthropy and Sustainability Arno's commitment to philanthropy and sustainability has helped him build a positive reputation and strengthen LVMH's brand. His focus on sustainability and environmentalism in recent years has helped position LVMH as a leader in the luxury goods industry and a responsible corporate citizen. Bernard Arnault has faced some controversies and scandals over the years. Here are some notable examples. Belgian citizenship controversy. In 2012, Arnault applied for Belgian citizenship, which caused a political controversy in France. Some critics accused him of trying to avoid France's high tax rates, although Arnault denied these allegations and stated that his reasons for seeking Belgian citizenship were personal and family-related. Dior's anti-Semitic incident. In 2011, John Galliano, the creative director of Dior, which is owned by LVMH, was fired after making anti-Semitic comments at a Paris bar. Some critics accused Arno of not doing enough to address the incident and failing to condemn Galliano's behavior in a timely manner. Luxury goods price-fixing scandal. In 2018, LVMH, along with other luxury goods companies, was fined by the European Commission for price-fixing practices. LVMH was fined €135 million Euros for colluding with other companies to control the prices of luxury goods in Europe. Tax evasion allegations. In 2016, Arno's name was included in the Panama Papers, a leak of confidential documents that revealed how some wealthy individuals and companies used offshore tax havens to avoid paying taxes. Arno denied any wrongdoing and stated that his family's financial holdings were transparent and legal. Despite these controversies, Arno has maintained a strong reputation in the business world and has continued to lead LVMH to great success.